Right now we have some shoes over here just because that's where we keep our shoes so it looks kind of weird but these will be gone the dog's toys honestly i don't know why we haven't done this sooner but his toys can be over here with his bed that's much better and then this will just be completely empty because the thing mounted to the wall will be here and then all of our shoes will be in there and it'll just look much more sleek and clean looking at it in the camera i like it Looking at it in person, I don't know. So I have to get Zachary's opinion. And let me know your opinion too. Does it look good? And I think I mentioned this before, but you might be wondering like, why did you even get a rug for that space? You don't need it. I agree we don't need one, but to me, when you walk into someone's house and all you see is tile, it doesn't feel as comforting. But I feel like when you walk in and there's like a rug and it's cozy, it just gets like a better vibe i promise once the shoes are gone and the shoe holder thing is here it's gonna look a lot more put together and it's gonna come together i know it will i'm so sorry i did not properly introduce this vlog hi welcome to another vlog it's morgan follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications all that business right now i'm i literally just ate lunch i had leftover chicken asparagus and potatoes but it was like a small serving so i'm still hungry so i'm snacking on cucumbers and this homemade like ranch-ish type of sauce that I made. And it's pretty good. Cucumbers are like my go-to snack during the summertime. Cucumbers and baby carrots dipped in like hummus or a ranch or something is so refreshing. I did sign up for Amazon Affiliates. If you don't know what Amazon Affiliates is, it's basically like when you watch, like say you watch a YouTuber and they show you their favorite shampoo and they're like i got this from amazon um if you want to go check it out just click the link in my bio or check the link in the description so if you click on the link in their description it'll take you to the amazon page and if you buy it from their link they get a small commission so i have signed up for that program and i just wanted to be open and honest with you guys and let you guys know that so if i i'm probably going to say like 80 percent of the time if i talk about a product and link it and it's from amazon it's probably going to be an affiliate link so if you purchase from my link I will get a small commission. I'm not saying I I'm not saying you have to purchase it from me or I don't want to steer you away from purchasing it from my channel, but like I just want to be open and let you know that that is in the works. Also, I can't actually make commission off of Amazon affiliates until I've made enough qualifying sales. So, right now if you go and purchase something using one of my links, 
I'm not going to get anything from that and that's totally cool, but I do have to get a certain amount to be able to be rewarded, I guess. So just putting that out there, do with that information as you please. Like in my last vlog, I linked my dry shampoo because I really do love it. And so I have an Amazon affiliate code for that. So if you missed that and you want dry shampoo, go click on it. It's that simple. I'm going to stop talking about it because I feel like it's a sales pitch and it's honestly not. I just love sharing products and if I can get a little bit of commission off sharing what I love, why wouldn't I do it, you know? So don't take this as a sales pitch. Don't take this as me just trying to get your money. It's 100% not like that. Like I said, I want YouTube to be a steady income and YouTube ads is not the only way to make money on YouTube. So I'm learning from Sean Cannell and the Think Media team and I'm implementing as many things from them as I can and affiliate links are one of them. So please don't be mad at me. <laughs> I am doing it with the best intentions and I think that's all I have to say. Zachary just got home so I showed him the rug and he agrees that it looks green. So we're gonna try to send it back and pick out a different one. I'm disappointed because on the website it was clearly gray. So I don't know how to like pick another one and not have it come out wrong again too. But right now we're gonna do something very exciting. Is she talking? A little. She says mama and dad now, so that's good. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Can you wave hi? Look, wave hi. Oh. He does it sometimes. Wave she's, hi. She's hangry. <laughs> All right, good news. Ready? I don't know how you want to Wait, say oh, wait. I, when I put the phone <laughs> like this, I swear you thought that I was going to tell you we were getting married. We're yeah, that's not, not it. That's not we're it. Not that's, pregnant either. So that's not it. Yeah, that that's not it. It's just that, <laughs> regardless of what Mom and Kenny do, we're definitely coming to Vermont. Good, yay! Is I mean, you have a room for us, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what. Well, either way, I mean, obviously, if we get this house, we will have to get Patty's and people can stay there. Right. So we can well, I mean, literally, like, what well, was just a couple weeks ago? We were talking about this, and we were like, "Why don't we go to New York? It's only a few hours away." <laughs> Couple days in Vermont, day in Boston, day in New York, day in Maine. Woo! I don't know how much you guys could hear or see from those last couple clips, but guess what? We're going to Vermont and not till October, but we're so excited because we had planned to do this like at the beginning of the year we were gonna go. Well, we, we planned it in the beginning of the year to go to Vermont in like late September, and then the coronavirus happened and we kind of just said, well, we'll see if it happens. But now that things are starting to open and stuff, we are planning it. We're going in October to Vermont. We're gonna spend a week there. I'm so excited. That's where Zachary's sister lives and her husband's family. The last time we went to Vermont was a couple years ago for his sister's wedding. And it was the best ever. It was so cool. It's so pretty. It's so different, like living in Vegas to then like going to Vermont. It's way different, but I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. Like we're going to buy our tickets in the next couple days. And now we just have to figure out who's going to watch the dog because hear me out. Our dog does not get along with other dogs. So if he did, I would just take him like to Zachary's dad's house or something and he would just stay with them for a week, but he has a dog and they would not get along so I can't leave him anywhere like that and then call me bougie I don't care but I don't want to leave him at like a doggy daycare boarding type situation either because that just like breaks my heart I don't want him to have to be in that situation for a whole week especially because he gets anxious just if we're away like in general or even like if we take him to someone's house or anything he like panics I'm gonna try to get someone to come live at our house for a week I'm thinking that my dad will do it I'll have to see. <laughs> I need someone to come watch Spike for a week. It can't be that hard, right? You just give him food in the morning and at night and just chill with him, right? He's got a doggy door. It's all good. So I think I think that's what we're going to try to do. But I'm realizing this vlog has been nothing but me talking. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to get making dinner here soon. So I'll show you guys that. p.m. the answer would be cleaned 
that's it. That's all I did today was clean. I planned on, after showering, sitting down and like working on YouTube stuff and like getting some work done to find out Cox is having a outage. So <laughs> there's no internet and we have very limited data on our phones. So I can't even like use my phone to go on Instagram or anything right now. But I just remembered we should have another Amazon package. And I think I know what this is. And if it is what I think it is, <laughs> it's probably gonna be the most random thing I've ever purchased from Amazon. Let's see what we got. Let's sit on this chair. I wonder if the outage happened from all of the wind, because it got really windy all of a sudden. But that also doesn't make sense because it gets way windier here and there's never an issue. I can honestly say I don't remember there being like a power, like an internet outage ever. Not that like comes to mind, I'm sure it's happened and I just don't remember it, but I'm realizing like how often we're just on the internet. Like even Netflix is like using the internet. Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, anything. Like I literally can't do anything on my phone or my TV right now. All right, it is what I thought it would be. Are you guys ready? What is it? <laughs> we bought a rake. This is like the tiniest rake that I've ever seen <laughs> and Zachary was the one ordering it and he's like we just need like a small one right and I'm like well yeah we don't need like a huge one because we have a little yard and there's just one area we need to rake the leaves so I was like yeah just need a small one but this seems like it's too small does it like <gasps> okay it expands a little bit this will work <laughs> I guess I'll just show you guys the area I'm talking about because I have literally nothing else to do. So this area over here, it's literally rocks and it's just covered in leaves. Just randomly one day, this tree dropped so many leaves out of nowhere. They freak the dog out. He doesn't like them. So Zachary will have something to do this weekend. He can rake up the leaves. When I was cleaning, I was just like noticing things we have in the house that we just like don't need. Since we redid the office, we got rid of two pieces of the furniture but there's a third piece that we wanted to try to sell and so i put it on instagram today and i think someone's gonna buy it but made me realize that we have three of these google minis is that what they're called google home something i don't know what these are called but we have three of them none of which we actually purchased two were gifted and one was like a free spotify gift and we've never once used them i set up one of them in the kitchen and I think I used it for like a timer and then I was like, this is stupid, like I like I don't need it. It's kind of just a waste of space. So I'm thinking about either giving them to someone or selling them. I feel kind of bad selling them since we didn't pay for them. We got all of them as gifts. So I'm just gonna see if anyone else wants them because we don't need them and they're just taking up space. I can honestly say though, there is no better feeling than like walking into your bedroom and it being crystal clear, so clean or like walking down the stairs and just overlooking everything and being like, it looks damn good in here. Like there's no better feeling. I love it. Especially in our room because you know what? I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna just show you everything I'm talking about because there's nothing else to do. And Zachary's gonna call me in like five minutes, so let me hurry. But like, look at this. It looks so good. I mean, I hate this couch because look at the cushions. They just never look good. And this thing is so old, I'm just over it. But other than that, like it looks really nice. So clean, looks so good. Don't look at the island because that's where I was trying to do some work. Let's go upstairs. I even vacuumed the stairs, which is the worst job in the world. But this room's cleaned up. This is a piece of furniture that I'm trying to sell. So I think someone's gonna buy it. We bought it for over $100 on Amazon and we used it, but like barely. So it's in perfect condition. So we're trying to resell it for 25. In the master, ta-da. I feel like it looks so good. I mean, the, <laughs> the bedding looks a little lumpy, but other than that, the dog's bed used to sit over here on my side. I think it just made everything look like cluttery and weird over there. So I decided to move it here. Although it's a circle, so I feel like the shaping is weird. I like it a lot better. I almost want to replace it for a rectangle bed just so it'll fit better. I think it looks really good. I wish the dog was better though. So we could just totally get rid of this because this kills the vibe in the room in my opinion. I like hate it, but he has to be caged whenever we're gone because there was one single incident where he chewed through our old couch while we weren't home. And ever since then he's been caged while we haven't been home so 
The cage is staying. Okay, I've exhausted all of my options of random things to think to talk about, so I guess I will turn the camera off and Zachary's on his way home, so we'll see if I have anything exciting for the vlog later. We're buying our tickets. Friday date night, Monopoly and plane tickets. In other news, earlier I made these like random ingredient cookies, I guess you could call them. <laughs> 